going? What's going on with everybody? It's your boy Eric, aka Young God, coming to you from the Orange Dungeon, getting it to your real raw rugged. And I got somebody on the other line. I'm let him introduce himself, man. Who we got, bro? Yo, full little six, that's little floor. Hey, man, it's been a minute. Like I say, I, I know you remember this, but this was years ago. I probably did your first interview, and it was through Facetime. And uh, damn, it's just crazy to see where where sh- where uh where shit go, man. From you, I was like Dirty Sticks era, and now you. Uh, I, I was way back when you dropped Dirty Sticks. I was like probably like a couple months after you dropped that, and uh, you you and you in L.A. right now, man. That's shit crazy, bro. What are you telling? Me? I just thank God. It's a blessing. All oh, this is a blessing. Around that time, did you think like, I don't know, what was it like twenty six, seventeen? Around that time, did you ever imagine nah, you'll be I, where you at now? When I dropped Dirty Stick, that was like 2015. Yeah, that was a minute. So 2015, that's when I interviewed you. So 2015 to now, like, at 2015, where did you see yourself? Not even on music, just on, like, some life shit. Well, I ain't gonna count, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I thought I was gonna be in jail today, bro. No count. Mm-hmm. My life moving for real, like, real deal. Moving, like, sort of, like, it's just that where I thought. I ain't think I was gonna be where I'm at right now, though, for sure. Hey man, like I said, I want to do this because I feel like ain't really nobody covering it how they should cover it because they're not from Jacksonville. And I'm already knowing niggas' lives is crazy. I uh, I know a nigga that grew up with you. He um, he said he went to school with you. I mentioned a nigga named David. He said he was uh, I guess he went to St. Clair's with you. He said you he was uh, cool with you and Kendrick. And he said y'all niggas was just uh, like that's been y'all life. You know what I'm saying? Since a young kid or whatever. You know what I'm Yo, saying? Yo, Kendrick, I'm my little bro. I got the wristband on right now. The blue wristband. Mm. Watch. I always keep the wrist back long for like good luck. That's my little brother. Where y'all, did, did, did y'all meet at St. Clair's? Yeah, no, man. Kendra, like, hit the moment, that's my god, mama. So mm-hmm. Kendra, my god, brother. Like, all of them, that's my family for real. And, and, and just to see where you at now, uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, you'll be proud, man. You know what I'm saying? That's, uh, it's crazy. Yeah, definitely. But, um, yeah, man, how you doing today before we get into this, bro? I'm doing good. I'm. I was just. I just got done shooting a video. Uh, is it for a song that's out right now? Nah, I ain't not yet. It's on release song. No release song. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, I don't know where to start, man. I guess I. I guess I would start from Dirty Sticks, man. That was like the first thing I ever heard from you, and I was, yeah. I was like, this is this a hard song. The way y'all was going back and forth on it, and um, just to you, just to like, I guess uh progress you got better bro you done improved as a rapper just on some rapping shit like have you consciously tried to improve as a rapper or you think you just did it so much that you just improved I've been rapping so long that you just get used to it then you just elevate like Mm -hmm. you just elevate and keep elevating I'm in the mode right now though I don't know what it is I'm in the mode like I've been in the studio but I've just been in the mode bro like just get better and better with my flow not even my rhymes like my flow like like how I melodize, how I harmonize, like I'm just in this mode, bro. I don't know what it is. It's how I keep practicing, because I mean, like, I'm a hoop nigga, so like, if I want to get better dribbling with my left hand, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to dribble with my left hand. So that sounds like what you've been doing with your, you know what I'm saying, like dribbling with your left hand, that's like you working on singing a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, is there something, is there something right now that you, you you can still see you need improvement on? you like, ah, I, I, I still not where I'm at with this segment of rap. Is it the singing or maybe punchline or some shit like that? Nah, uh, it's really just I'm finna be like more like do more features, like be more mm. social rappers and stuff like that. That what I'm I'm doing more of that this year. Like I got a lot of features now, like with a lot of big artists and I'm from dropping shit videos and shit, all that's coming along. Yeah, that's all more so more social. Being a Florida nigga, definitely hood niggas, you know niggas are kinda if they ain't cool with you, they kinda they ain't really talking yeah. to you like that, you know what I'm saying? That's talking no friendly now. So how you been? Cause you know in the music industry it's a lot of fake niggas. You gotta do a lot of networking. So as a nigga from Florida, that's probably anti-social. The niggas like he not cool. Like how you been navigating around that? Uh, I basically like link up with people who want the tight time. I'm on. Uh, if I just if I rock with your vibe, I just you know it come natural though. Like yeah. me, like if I mess with you, I don't mess with you. If I don't, I don't. It is natural. And I I feel like. Like you said, you 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 probably been having niggas that like you your whole life. You probably been having niggas that don't like you your whole life. So it's probably something yeah. that's not too too new. Um, and I guess that's kind of a, a good way to throw it back to 
Dirty Sticks. I feel like when you dropped Dirty Sticks, that was around the time where mostly air, like a lot of niggas in the city loved you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like now it don't went from you being like the good guy, like wrestling, like he was the good guy. Now nah, niggas on turning you into the bad guy. Um, yeah, something like that. But now I'm the best guy. Now they can't. It's like I don't broke the barrier. Like I'm all the way in the door right now. Like mm-hmm. I was like halfway in the door. They knew of me, but they ain't want to hear me. Now my following. And my numbers don't got so big to the point they have no choice but to hear me. Mm. Choice but to hear me now. Now it's on me to like make the right move to put out the right message of what's really going on. And, you know what I'm saying? I like I said. I think out of just on some rapping junk, you do you can't you you do a good job at painting a picture, and you got like a a, a gravelly voice where niggas know it's you when they hear it's you. Like I think my like the first song I heard by you when I was like, oh this nigga. He getting better, better. I think it was Rough Rider. That was when I was like, "Oh, Rough this nigga." Rider. Oh yeah. I, like he yeah. T- That's like you was in a different zone on Rough Rider. That's that's me and my homeboy Troy favorite song by you. Uh, I, I don't Just imagine that song with my new. Like, I got a, I got about thirteen Rough Riders. I'm gonna say really? that on my mixtape. <laughs> really. Just imagine how that song good. I got like thirteen of them on my mixtape. Do you do you regard that as like a special song to you? Because I feel like that's like one of like you were just Rough rapping Rider, different on them. Rough Rider. That's one of my favorite songs. It ain't my favorite, but it's probably like my top five. Like, what, what would you do? You have a yeah. favorite song? You would you say? Uh, I got a song called "It's Over." Mm. That's my favorite. That's probably my top five. Uh, play with me. That's just a hit. Mm. One of my favorites. Uh, I got so bro, I ain't gonna count, bro. I got over a thousand, two thousand songs, bro. So I got so many songs, bro. And before I get too deep into it, because I'm gonna forget to ask this, everybody that I'm interviewing for this, I want to ask them: Do you have a person from Jacksonville, like a rapper, that you looked up to, or a nigga that inspired you to be like, damn, like maybe I could start this rap shit? Uh, not really. Cause you know I got it on my own, mm. and my own self. But one one person I always wanted to do a song with was Lil V. Mm. I'm not doing ten years. I think he's doing like ten or some shit. Yeah. How long about doing, you know? The real how long? Yeah, he doing about 10 years, man. Right? Being like the Jacksonville legend type shit. No, I was, that's funny. Me and my cousin was just talking about a, a song, uh, Pickettville, nigga. Just a couple, just a couple days ago. So, nah, definitely that'd be an interesting song. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I've been interviewing a lot of niggas and just listening to everything. And I guess from you being from Jacksonville and seeing how the Jacksonville scene is taking off, do you feel like, the way that niggas have been covering it, like uh, making videos about it, writing articles about it, you think like niggas been portraying it in an accurate way? Because niggas on turn Jacksonville, I feel like in a damn zoo. Like niggas is, you know what I'm saying? Like viewing this shit like a damn uh, Jacksonville zoo or some shit. Like, do you do you think the way we've been portrayed has been accurate, or you think like it's been portrayed by outsiders so it's not been accurate? Uh, kind of sorta. Mm. I say kind of sorta, but like they ain't in Jacksonville, so they don't. No, the it'll never be the full hundred percent unless you in Jacksonville. Like, you know what I'm saying? Is there is is there anything that I guess like have you have you seen articles or looked at a video, and has there been like a common I guess misconception about you about Jacksonville about anything that you think that you would you would you would change you would be like nah nigga that's not true or this is not that 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 kind of get to you a little bit. I, and I can see why they say this, but they say we something like Chicago. Mm. Like they like we got the Chicago, like you know what I'm saying. That that's probably about it. I ain't gonna. I like that's the bill. We our own. Like we got our own vibe. Like we Florida, but they say we kind of like the Chicago way right now with the music, the yeah. killing, how people get killed, stuff like that. I ain't gonna hold you. I've been saying this for a minute. I went to uh, I went to coast. Went to first coast. And I seen that shit firsthand, bro. When I knew Chief Keef and all the niggas was blowing up, drill music really like changed Jacksonville. I think like niggas got on a different type time. I feel like Jacksonville yeah. always been a violent city, but niggas started naming themselves after Chicago niggas. Niggas started dressing like Chicago niggas. Niggas started saying ops and shit. I feel like Chicago really did kind of change Jacksonville. You ain't you ain't see that when when around like I'm just like 2015, 2014. Uh yeah, somewhat, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really watched. I started the wave. I'm the reason why. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. 
time. So you know something, and it was around that time back twenty. I, and it wasn't even twenty. It was like the end of twenty thirteen. Mm. 14 to 15 That was everything Just went to like Slowly but Start changing That's when I feel like Jacksonville got Super violent Like that's when The murder rate Started going up For real for real Cause last year The murder yeah, rate Was crazy summer. Yeah Yeah That was one of the worst Summers in Jacksonville Bro on the, on the list Like it's like Literally a list But 2014 One of the worst summer. I lost a couple Friends that summer too I mean, it's, it's niggas that I grew up with that's not here no more. You know what I'm saying? I feel like shit just turned out. Like, I went to school with niggas like Trady and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's, my brother. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, 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 it's niggas that I grew up seeing that, you know, you ain't going to never see no more. So, it, it, I, I think my biggest thing about the way uh, Jasper was being portrayed is that it's niggas that's real people being talked by in these songs. Like, so when niggas that's not in it, you know what I'm saying, laughing or making little jokes, it's like that don't got nothing to do with you. I can't tell a nigga that got beef with a nigga to how to how to how to say something. But if that don't got shit to do with you, I feel like you should you should be careful on how you talk about that shit. I don't know if you feel the same way or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah I feel the same way. I stay saying that, but like people like the fans be so deep into the music. Uh, that's just how they feel. Like they be trolling. And yeah. That's just like how we wake up rapping is our job. Getting up trolling and hopping on on the Julio comment section. That's their job, you know what I'm saying? That's how it is, bro. Do you think it? Do you think it? Uh, how can I say? Do you think it like boosts a nigga, like mess with a nigga pride? So let's say if somebody die on 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 a nigga side, then the nigga in the comments, damn, you ain't gonna spin back. You think I like build up, mess with a nigga pride to be like, I gotta do something now? Nah. Like with certain people that do, yeah, the fan fell role in the beef, mm. a big role. So you're big. Now, role. Be sometimes no cap, bro. Sometimes I don't even be knowing about half of this shit, bro. Then the fans will send it to me. They'll spam my DM on my shit and send it to me. I'm like, damn. Bro, the fans, you know what I mean? Bro, you going, bro, I ain't going to hold you, bro. You, you you know about JSO. JSO don't solve no damn homicides, bro. The end of, oh, you, Niggas on YouTube be solving the crimes before the police do down here. Yeah, Jacksonville police, they, they don't, you know what I'm saying? They'll let the bleed out on the scene. I, I remember I seen a nigga say, uh, if you got a problem with a nigga from Jacksonville, just kill him because uh, the police ain't going to solve it. And that's a fact, bro. Niggas, and, niggas, niggas on YouTube would do a whole video on, hey, this nigga got killed because this. And I'm like, how y'all know? Like, nigga, y'all ain't even from Jacksonville. So that shit crazy, man. Um, but yeah, I, I, I feel like uh, from, from, from the way it's been, uh, I guess, portrayed, that would be my only thing. But uh, yeah, back to you, man. Uh, a, a song that I, I got to bring up, one of my favorite beats you rapped over. I've been trying to figure out was this a sample? I don't know if you know if it's a sample or who produced this, but Splat Music. Also one of my oh, favorite yeah, songs. Yeah. Who that produced that? Uh damn, who the who, damn. Uh I forgot. I really forgot. I do work with so many producers, I forgot. I I I really do like that beat. But um I had a... like I said, I'm I'm interviewing a list of rappers right now. And um I'm I'm curious to your take on this because this has a lot to do with Jacksonville Jacksonville drill scene and I looked at an interview yeah. with you saying that you you kind of started that which I would have to agree I don't I don't remember niggas because I said like when we was kids niggas I had gangster music in the city but it wasn't like how it is now it's it's a little a little bit more violent and in your face and you yeah. might be the first nigga I heard do that so I said to uh, I, on Monday I actually interviewed a uh, young and Ace and I told him that yeah. I was talking about the Who I Smoke song. And I was saying that personally, like, I guess the song is catchy or whatever, but I personally can't listen to that type of music no more. I'm at a point in my life where I can't listen to drill music. 2012, I'm yeah. listening to Chief Keef every single day, Reese, Fredo, that's my favorite thing. But now I'm just at a point where I'm working with niggas that used to be in the black pants, all type of just black empowerment junk that I would feel wrong supporting shit like that. So when a nigga like me say that, do you feel some type of way or do you understand where I'm coming from that I could say, hey, that's a good song, but I personally can't listen to it every day? Nah, bro, you a type of your opinion, bro, at the end of the day. Yeah. You ain't got nothing to do with nothing, bro. For sure, for sure. Well, I, I, I didn't know if Nick, I didn't know if stuff like that rubbed you the wrong way because I know how certain niggas feel very passionate about their music, so I didn't know if when you hear niggas say that, you like, oh, that's, that's, some, that's some whole shit right there, or if you just, you just, you understood. Nah, yeah, no. Nah. For sure, for sure. Um, and yeah, like I said, you uh, you have, since I last interviewed you, I feel like you did kind of, like when would you say you kind of switched gears? Because I could be wrong, but at that time, you didn't have as many diss songs out, right? Uh, I probably, all my songs not diss songs. 
Well, I'm not saying all, but I'm saying like at that time, I don't even remember you having a diss song out. Or I could be like around Dirty Sticks here. And I had diss songs out around that time. You probably don't know. See, people don't know what I be saying to my rap. They probably will say something. They don't even know they diss somebody. Like, you know what I'm mean? There's a lot of like subliminal shit. But nah, though. I don't know. I probably had, because I had um, Make It Count the Mixtape. That was on YouTube. I all over that myself. And Mr. Doc Bottom and say, like, oh, that's like yeah. real slang. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So since you would say you pioneered that, do you see because now it's niggas that don't got nothing to do with your beef niggas that don't got nothing to do with niggas that's beefing with you they doing drill music too in Jacksonville like just completely different beefs that don't got nothing to do with you like have you paid have you seen that like niggas just like everybody in the city making drill everybody in the city making drill music at this point yeah I started it I, I see everything bro. I started the whole way Every, anybody will tell you even the opps out there Fulio started that he was one of the first kids popping the first young Person popping from the north side of Jacksonville had all the team parties lit. Yeah. I'm young, like it's all on YouTube. Ooh, I, I, I started that. Yeah. Do you ever feel like, or have you ever felt like, like damn, like this shit getting out of control, and I start this, or are you happy where drill music is at in Jacksonville? No, I just like shit. This how Jacksonville been. I'm so used to. I'm known to yeah. this shit. Like this is what it is now. Not like it's been like that for years, and I'm like. Uh, that happened. It's a new day. It's another day. See, it's crazy. It's crazy because Jacksonville's so crazy right now that I know niggas that have homies die and they don't feel nothing no more. Like they don't feel no type of emotion. They just like, damn, like he died, but they ain't crying or no shit like that. Um, would you say you reached up? Have you reached that point in your life where you just feel like, damn, like you? Because the way you say, like you so used to it, have you desensitized? Have you feel like you desensitized to the violence around you at this point? Nah, see, with my brother's like. People I'm locked in where we locked in for real, for real. For real. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a type of regards to my brother died. Uh, yeah. I mean, but you you know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm pretty sure you don't seen niggas that, like, I don't know, let's say a nigga like, uh, a nigga like Herbo. A nigga, he got the album cover with 50 niggas he knew dead. And I hear him talk about it, and I could just see that he kind of detached from the shit sometimes because it just, it's so crazy. And I done met niggas like that in real life. Yeah, bro. What you say? You broke up. What you say? I said, that's how it make you feel, though. Mm. That's how this piece shit make you feel. But I done seen and died death 50 plus times, bro. You feel me? So at a certain point, I'm like, damn, this shit just what it is. Like, it's just life. Like, man, it's life. Maybe this how I'm supposed to live. Maybe this how I'm supposed to feel. You know what I'm saying? That's why this shit be so fucked up sometimes. That's why people be like, damn, why you do them drugs? Why you be popping on the purse? Even because I like the high, because I don't want to feel shit. I ain't trying to, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You self medicating yeah. yourself at that point. Yeah. A, a nigga, um, Kodak had a bar on. I think it was on uh, Why Vultures Cry. I forget what he said. Something like he said, "My nigga died and I can't even cry." Some shit like that. And I, and I was like, he "Damn." He said, uh-uh. "When my nigga died, I couldn't even much cry." Yeah. yeah. Shit like that is like, damn. That's that's, that's 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 crazy. And I wrote an article because I'm a, a psychology major, and I wrote an article about black people self-medicating because you know niggas in the hood ain't going to therapy you know what I'm saying niggas is not going to a therapist or a psychologist niggas may smoke weed niggas may pop pills or whatever um have you ever thought about like going to therapy at all or do you go to therapy yeah no nah, that's a big thing even in the rap community and like the entertainment community the fans don't think about like what people have mentally like they just see like the jury the niggas smiling on Instagram they don't know what like behind the scenes what's really going on like you know what I'm saying that's why the shit so fucked up like, I feel like nah nah I ain't never been a therapy though. I thought about going to shit bro. nah I mean if a nigga if a nigga listen to y'all songs and can't realize y'all niggas going through it I mean like like uh like the song you made about Bibby where you was at his gravesite or whatever like if a nigga listen to that song and obviously can't tell you probably going through it, you know, at night or just in life or whatever. I mean, that just shows you the niggas that's listening to certain music and making comments and videos about it. That's the type of niggas that just need to listen to the music and shut up. Like this, look, six days ago, I posted this picture on my Instagram. They probably ain't understand. I said MDD, Major Depression Disorder. Because I feel like that, that was the caption on my picture I posted six days ago. Yeah. MDD major depression disorder. That's what I feel like I be going through sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Why you Why you never go through with therapy? Nah, hell no. Nah, I'm good though. Like I could, you know what I'm saying? But I'm telling, bro. I, I, 
I know niggas like you, bro. I know niggas that I'm straight, bro. Like, I'm telling you, bro. Niggas go to therapy and feel so much better, bro. Like, the weed and shit, the pills and shit, it's cool temporarily. You just gonna pop more and that shit mess up your body. Therapy and shit like that, bro. Because I already know, bro. I know niggas that drink lean 24-7. Niggas fat as hell now, bro. Niggas was your size, not they big as hell. They Gucci before you went to jail, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, I know them drugs will fucking nigga body up, so... Hey, man, I don't want to be the preachy nigga, but I'm telling you, bro, look into therapy because you talking about you got major depression disorder. Like, that ain't, that ain't no shit to play with. And you, I know you know that if you suffer from it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, uh, definitely. Do you feel like music is ever your therapy? Yeah, yeah, that's why I love music so much. Like, when I hear a certain beat, it's like that bitch just be talking to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I made a bigger story, when I first heard that beat, I already knew what I was going to say. I don't even write raps. But I already knew what I was from the sound that beat. Like, I felt it. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a punch in rapper, out the head type rapper. You know what I'm saying? So that was all that, that was, that was all punching. You, you ain't writing nothing on that? Nah, I, ain't write, I don't write my raps. Do you do you feel like it comes more natural to, for, for the fact you don't write? No, nah, because when I went to the county, I went to the county jail for a month. Because they revoked my bond. But I wrote so many raps. And it was probably my... It was probably my best rap because I was really like going through some shit like in that bitch just sitting in that bitch. You know what I mean? No, that was what like that was last year. That was when you locked yeah, up. Yeah, that was last year. My uh, you were locked up. My uh, you locked up my brother. But um, yeah, I I I remember that. So you, I mean, but you don't got nothing to do but to write and read and there and work out. Like, you don't really got nothing but time. It's for your mind, bro. Yeah. That shit is for your mind. That shit is gonna make you or break you. Well, shit that I feel like could, cause I feel like to be a rapper you gotta be strong, but to be a rapper with your your dead friends in the public limelight, you gotta be a super amount of strong. Because any nigga that could, you know what I'm saying, nigga just say all type of slick crazy stuff. Don't even know niggas that you grew up with. So have you ever been in an environment where you like? I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen in Jacksonville, but maybe you out of town and you hear niggas playing songs that are like dissing your dead friends, like. Have you ever been in that moment, like, like uh, I don't know, pulling up next to some white people and they singing a song crazy or whatever? No, uh, not yet. Hopefully, no, I don't. Neither, cause I hate you know, being on walk up to your car and turn that shit off for you. That's my yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's why. That's why I wanted to highlight the fans, cause I wanted them to hear it coming from you on you know them being irresponsible with shit. Like niggas just gotta know what they doing and you know what I'm saying how they playing it because. Niggas will get smacked for doing crazy shit, I'm pretty sure. What are you telling me? Go play that shit at home by yourself in your house and shit. Don't play that shit. Let me hear it. We will park your motherfucking car. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, like I said, like, niggas, uh, I, I would hope niggas wouldn't be that, be that uh, uh, crazy. Man, we ain't doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, for real, I, I, I don't want to keep it for too long. But before I do go, uh, I, I will say it one more time. I do think you should looking at doing some some therapy shit or whatever because I feel like I feel like niggas look at therapy you know how niggas be like nigga depressed nigga weird or this nigga on therapy this nigga soft or whatever but I'm telling you bro like like is there a reason you wouldn't go nah I ain't no reason I just be you know what I'm just be moving I just be doing a lot of shit not saying I can't go to it but I just be doing a lot of shit for sure for sure well shit man I appreciate you uh Sitting down, man. If, if if there's is there anything you want me to put in the article, you know, talk about, uh, let it be known. Uh, nah, hell nah. This this shit. Just let me know in the car that article. Tap me in it's like post. Appreciate you for interviewing me too, bro. Hey man, I appreciate it, man. Um, 